1876, shortly after Confederation, Parliament passed the Indian Act, a prohibitive, racist, discriminatory piece of legislation that not only ignored our contributions, it denied the integrity of our peoples. It subjugate, subjugated us as wards of the state. It essentially made us non-citizens in our own country. Ever since then, we have been on the outside looking in, not a part of confederation, not even full citizens. We have no language protection, no protection of our laws, no protection of our cultures. So how do we tell the true origin story of Canada? The true origin story can only be told if Parliament, formally, through legislation, recognizes that there are three founding peoples of Canada, the British, the French, and the Indigenous peoples. So what would this accomplish? It would set the record straight. It would make Canada whole. And the correct and, the correct and powerful narrative of Canada's origins will become part of the shared story of every Canadian for generations to come. It will open up possibilities for genuine and lasting reconciliation. Finally, it would be a moment for the ages that all Canadians, including our peoples, could finally celebrate, in the truest sense of the word, the founding of Canada, our country.
In 1990, Phil Fontaine shocked the nation. My grade three class, if there were 20 boys uh, in this particular class, every single one of the 20 would have experienced what I experienced. The then head of the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs revealing he had been sexually abused at the Fort Alexander Residential School on Seguin First Nation. At the time, he demanded an investigation from the Catholic Church, which ran the school. Today, decades later, the RCMP revealed it has been investigating, that it started looking into allegations of abuse in 2010 and launched a criminal investigation a year later, and that police have talked to more than 700 people across North America, gathered 75 witness and victim statements, and combed through thousands of documents. There are rapists and murderers who are still living, who committed these horrific crimes. Mounties have probed abuse at residential schools before. In 1994, BCRCMP created a task force to investigate historic, physical and sexual abuse at 15 church-run schools. Hundreds of victims were identified, resulting in 148 convictions for sexual assault. Senator Peterson. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, gentlemen, for your uh, presentation. Previous um, presentations have um, have left the impression with us that uh, 
But there's some question about the clonal cord that it uh, that it's somewhat of a myth, that it's not uh, not really an agreement to put together in short order in the dying days of a last days of a government. How do how do you gentlemen react to that? I don't know how one could argue that it is a myth. Uh, the, uh, the it was the first minister's meeting that uh, in, included uh, five uh, national organizations. The uh, we all uh, spoke uh, to the nation um, at the end of uh, our uh, uh, of the meeting. We again spoke to the nation. We agreed to proceed. Uh, on uh, the basis of our plan, uh, the 10-year plan, um, and uh, unless television lies, right, uh, then it's a myth. But it, uh, I mean, it's, if whoever argues that is being entirely disrespectful and completely uh, uh, and completely misrepresents this process, because as I said to you. Uh, no, twice. I'll say the third time. This process took 18 months. It engaged a thousand people. We worked with every jurisdiction in the country. We brought our best ideas forward to our best people, and we ended up with a plan that we presented then to the to the to the country through the first ministers uh, at the uh, through the first ministers, and it had a plan that had real targets and real outcomes. And uh, I recall uh, then uh, Minister of Indian Affairs, uh, the Honourable Jim Prentice, saying that uh, uh, that his government accepted the uh, the targets and the outcomes. They weren't entirely um, uh, supportive of the process uh, because some people felt excluded, and that they would begin immediately uh, uh, taking the steps to. Uh, go to the provinces and the, the provincial and territorial governments to see how they could uh, give effect to the uh, to the uh, the accord. So that doesn't suggest a myth. It, it's, it's actually uh, uh, confirms everything that we know uh, is uh, in the in the accord and uh, the commitments and uh, in fact the outcomes and targets.